Hello YouTube, it is your boy B3, back with another kicking action figure review. Today we have another Marvel legend. You know that I don't collect too many Marvel figures, but you know I love to collect my Spider-Man and symbiotes. Today we have another Spider character, Spider-Woman from the Molten Man Build-A-Figure Wave. Yeah. Uh, this big Build-A-Figure Wave was also the Spider-Man Far From Home Wave, uh, which I still need most of. I've been slacking on Marvel Legends. Uh... Now that I have a new job, I can kind of catch up a little, but, you know, we'll see what happens. So, uh, yeah, Julia Carpenter, Spider-Woman. I didn't have a version of her in my collection at all, so I'm very happy to have her. Uh, I actually passed on her a bunch of times, and I'm glad I did, because I got her on clearance. And, you know, clearance at GameStop is just normal retail price. But that's why I passed on her so many times, because I kept seeing her for, like, nearly $30. And I was like, no thank you. Uh... But, yeah, you know, she's pretty cool. Got that cool art on the side. They always go pretty hard on the side art packaging. Side art. I don't know. Julia Carpenter becomes an ally of Spider-Man and the Avengers after she's given spider-powered abilities by a secret government experiment. So you've got Molten Man here. I still need the uh, upgrade suit. Movie Mysterio, who I passed on recently. I really shouldn't have. Um, I need Stealth Suit Spider-Man. I have and have reviewed Hydra Man. I've wanted a figure of Doppelganger since I was a kid, so I really need that. Obviously, I have Spider-Woman, and I still need Scorpion, because I really do want that Molten Man. I think he looks cool. So, yeah, let's bust her out of package now. And here she is out of package. The very cool, very dope Julia Carpenter Spider-Woman. Yeah, she's a pretty cool figure. I actually quite like her. Uh... You know, she's she's got a lot going on. You know, most spider characters have kind of the skin tight outfit. Uh, so there's not a lot of raised detail on her, just as there is not on many figures of Spider-Man himself. Uh, I do like that she does not have heels. That's pretty good. Uh, it helps her stand better and makes more sense, you know. She's got kind of those open hands that you see on a lot of female Marvel Legends. Uh... You know, good paint. It seems pretty clean. Uh, I don't... That's a little plastic or something. I don't see any droplets of black or white anywhere, which is very nice. Uh, the spider is what needs to be the cleanest. It's very clean. I like the head sculpt. You know, the mask looks good. I like the shape of the eyes. The eyes are kind of a little uh, shiny. You know, they're like silver eyes, actually. They're not white, which is pretty cool detail. Uh... Since there's not a lot of paint detail on her body, they really went hard on the hair, as you can clearly see. Went very hard on the paint detail on the hair. You know, I really like that. And the hair doesn't, uh, you know, hinder articulation too much. Speaking of, uh, let's do that. Side to side, up, not back far because of the hair. You know, there's a bit of a wobble. Uh, her head's kind of a little loose, but it's okay. Uh, you know, you got that kind of torso movement that the female figures usually have in and out on the arms, forward and back, rotation on the elbow, bend on the elbow, rotation on the wrist, bend on the wrist, in and out on the legs, could come out farther to be honest, uh, forward pretty far, back, it actually goes back pretty decent ways considering she's got that bodacious bottom, which is good, you got uh, thigh swivel, double knee bend, pretty good, up and down on the feet. And of course, I say and of course, and then that foot doesn't want to do it. Neither of these foots want to really move the ankle pivot. Maybe I need to heat them up a bit. But she does have an ankle pivot, though. Uh, her feet just don't want to cooperate, is all. Uh, now I'm going to show you what she comes with. She has this really cool... Oh, let's refocus. That's my bad. Uh, she has this really cool web-slinging accessory. It's like a hand with just like a web shooting out of it. It's, it's a really unique webbing accessory. Very glad to have it. I will 100% be displaying her with this accessory. She also comes with the torso of Molten Man. The female figures usually get the torso. Uh, it's pretty cool. You have to snap the back on, and then you have to twist the waist so that it faces the correct way. Just FYI. Uh, but it's pretty cool. You can see it's got a lot of clear. Uh, kind of a sucker for translucent stuff, so... Oop, I definitely got to finish this guy. It's pretty cool. I got to dig my head out, though. I don't remember where I put it, to be honest. 
But yeah, now let's do some size comparisons. Here's Julia Carpenter, Spider-Woman, with a couple other Marvel Legends. Here on the left we have Peter B. Parker. This is the Peter Parker figure from the Stiltman Wave and the Into the Spider-Verse film. And then on the right we also have Doc Ock, without tentacles, just to make it easier for the lineup, you know. Ooh, excuse me. And, uh, you know, I think she works well with both of them. I think she's going to scale pretty well with your Marvel Legends. So what are my final thoughts on the Hasbro Marvel Legends Molten Man Build-A-Figure Wave Julia Carpenter Spider-Woman? I'm glad to finally have her in my collection. This was a sp key spider character that I was missing. Very glad to uh, have her finally... Well, she's not my favorite Spider-Woman. I do think she's really cool, and she makes a great figure. I love the amount of detail and paint they put into the hair. I like the silver on the eyes. I think that was a nice touch. This is a really cool effect piece that you can see here, very unique to her, and I think that's really awesome. She has great articulation. She's a fun figure, and the paint is very, very clean. I really like this figure. Glad I could finally get her, and I can't wait to get more. So that is it. Thank you all very much for your support. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out all the cool links in the description below, Facebook, Twitter, etc. I think this is one of the better reviews we've done recently. Pretty proud of myself, but that is it. Next time we're reviewing more Power Rangers stuff, and I'll see you all then.